This is the best program to make pixel art emotes for your Twitch stream. Here, my amazing emote collection. As you can see, they're pixel art. We've made these amazing pixel art emotes. And here I'm going to show you the program I'm actually doing it in. The program is called S Pride. And you can buy it on Steam. 16 euros 79. I'm not sure if that's the same in dollars or if maybe it's like 20 dollars or something like that. But this is the euro price. And basically you get it on Steam and then you can launch it via Steam. Or you can just launch it via one of your save files. So if you save something as an S Pride file, you can just open that and it will not run through Steam. So right here it says I have 100 hours in it. But it doesn't count all the hours where I basically just open it via a file. It only counted when I launched it via Steam. It's probably not that accurate. So we're just gonna launch it. I'm just gonna make a new one. If you're making a Twitch emote, make them 28 by 28. So this is the canvas and we can basically draw in here. We can also find some palettes because this palette is pretty ugly. Basically you can find a palette on the internet. So here on Lost Pack, we can just find a palette. For example, this one's really bright. We can just go here and download it. We can just download the PNG image. We can just save it somewhere where we want. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. Click here and then load a palette, load palette. And I save this on my desktop, so it's right here. And now we load it and we can see that these colors are all from the palette. I do recommend you do use a palette because it's really, really, really hard picking colors. And with pixel art, it is really important that you pick the right colors, otherwise they don't give enough contrast. For example, if you use this and then we make something with this color, we can see this is pretty easy to see like this, but if you make it super small, it is going to be harder to see the difference, which is fine if you have like, if this is one thing, this is a reflection and then we have a shadow on this side, for example, then it's fine because it's just one thing. However, if we were making like, this is the body, this is the head and this is the hair, it's not going to be visible. So what we can do is we can draw with this tool or press B on the keyboard and draw. We can erase with this one or press E for erase. With this one, we can color pick, which is the eye. You can see the shortcuts here as well. We can zoom in and out, but we can just scroll. So if we have something else, we can also scroll. We can move things around. You can also do that by selecting and it, mo it moves automatically afterwards. We have the bucket tool, which we can fill things with, or we can press G on the keyboard and then use it. We've got a line tool and a curve line tool. We got tools for rectangulars and circles because circles are amazingly hard to make. So we can just make a circle really easily like this. If you hold shift, it will just keep in proportions. A color tour. And this one is for blurs like that. I would not recommend that with pixel art, to be honest, because it's going to be harder to see on the emo because it's like going to be really, really small, right? Another thing that is important is down here, we have layers. So if you used Photoshop before, you're probably familiar with layers. Otherwise, we can make a new layer like this. And now this layer is just the thing we draw here. And now we can draw something else on the second layer. Uh, let's grab a different color. So for example, this. And then we can see that this is like separate. We can just make this invisible or visible or whatever you want. You can also animate in it by adding a new frame. So now it just copied the same thing, but we can just make this like this. Now we can play it and it is an animation. I mean, this is this is beautiful pixel art. I, I, I definitely understand, right? This is beautiful in pixel art. Uh, however, you can pretty easily animate with it like that. Uh, if you click this, you can even see how the other frame looked like. So if we want a new frame, but we want a new empty frame instead, we can click on this and we can see like, oh, this is how it looked before. So we can say like, oh, the eyes need to be, I don't know if this is eyes, but I just make eyes of these, I guess. Uh, they need to be even bigger. And now we're going to add this. And now we can see that this is the animation. <laughs> it's beautiful. I know it is amazing. I didn't really draw anything, but that does not the point. The point is to show you how you can do it, right? I usually have some reference material next to it. So I usually look at a reference material and make it my own because I, I just can't come up with something my own. But that green blob might have been inspiration for somebody. <laughs> um, if you see right here, our palette gotten back. So if you want the one palette that we have on everything, we can just load the palette again. And then we need to make sure to make this the default palette. 
save palette as default. And now if we open something new, it will stay the same palette. So if you make multiple emotes, make sure that you use the same palette for every emote. If you want to make a line like this, you can see that there is double pixels here. So normally a line would be like this. But there's double pixels here. If you want to prevent that, you can press this and now it automatically stops making double pixels. However, if you want to color something here, it might be annoying and then you want to turn it off to color it real quick. I don't know, I start seeing like sort of a shrimp in this for some reason. <laughs> this is a little shrimp guy. <laughs> this is uh, Mr. Shrimp now. <laughs> for me, these emotes usually take hours to make, so I I'm not gonna like make an emote right here because you know, I don't want this tutorial to take forever. I just wanted to give the tools to make it. There's so many creators like, for example, Mort Mort, who actually make tutorials on how to make pixel art. I'm never gonna say I'm a pixel art pro. I do know some tips and stuff like that for to make pixel art. However, I would definitely recommend watching a creator like Mort Mort that actually has it 100% down. He knows everything he does about pixel art. But this is what you can use. You can start and try things out already. Look at other pixel art. Try to like mimic that in a sense, try to learn techniques in the pixel art and then you can start making your own emotes because probably the first time you make something, it will look like this. Basically, it will be very bad. And that's okay. It's okay to start out and be really bad at it because, you know, that's what I did. And now we got some cute emotes like the money one, the cry one, you know, the stonks. We got the cute emotes, so don't get too bothered by being bad at the start. Just keep trying to improve. Get 1% better every time you try it. Eventually you will be 100% better. Yep. If you want to know how to make emotes from just your face with photos, I do have a video right here that tells you how to do that in Photoshop. I do also have a whole playlist helping you grow your treasure right here. You can subscribe right here and don't forget to like the video.